Hey there, last window, part 19, might be the final part. Right, let's take a look at this fourth floor sketch. In fact, I'm going to draw that. Right, I'm going to check out all of those little circles. So there's six in total, I'm not sure about what that, that cross is, but uh, yep, that's probably good enough. Right, I need to go up to the uh, I need to go up to the fourth floor and look at where all those circles were in every room because they are clues to the big puzzle. I'll explain later. Right now, I'll just go up to the fourth floor and the doors open. Fantastic. Do I still have to? Get yeah, I do. Right, never mind. Um, not unlocked, so I think I'll have to use the fourth floor keys. Probably. Yeah, I think so. 403, right. Now, this one. Somewhere over there? By where those chairs are. Let's take a look. Maybe this one? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, really? Do you think? Good man. Right, so that's a condor symbol. It's number four. Um, there were six circles. So, you know, there's going to be six condor symbols. Uh, there's only one in each room, so uh, I think it's time to go across the hall. Go across to room 40... what is it? 401? 405. Take the keys out again. I might not even need to do this, but... What the hell. So this one was right next to the wall, so... Oh, actually, it was right next to the door. It could be here. It could be this dresser here. Yep, there you go. It's another condor symbol. So you take a look at that, and he's going to note it down. Yes, it is, and that does have some significance. Again, I'll explain it later on. Uh, yeah, there's only one in this room, so better get out of here. Down here. I'm still not really comfortable with these controls, really, when I can't see the right screen. Four oh two. That was sort of in uh, over there, over by that wardrobe closet thing. Number three. Okay. Three down. Three to go. Right, let's go. Across the hall into the other room. Now 404, is this the room that we went in the first time that we ever came up here? I think it was. And I think what I need to do is probably this desk. I think the symbol's on this desk somewhere. go, number five. Now it won't make a great deal of sense why I'm doing this uh, right now, 
but uh, you'll understand soon enough. there's one in here. So let's just go in here. There should be one inside this room and then the other one, the remaining one, is right at the end of the corridor. Four oh one, this was near the centre of the room, so could be the bed. I think it would be. Alright, we've got one missing. Quite literally, it's number one that is missing, and that's at the end of the hallway. I believe it's on the window frame. Hey, what do you know? It is. Damn straight. So that means we've got all six. Right. Yes, they are. Yeah, the note on the sketch that said the far side of the moon, that basically means to, you know, look at the postcard, turn it around, look at that table grid thing. Okay? Let's take a look. Uh, there it is. Right, so we look at this once again and we get this uh, little grid up, okay? What's it supposed to mean? Well, I'll tell you. It relates to the condors we've just found. Let's hit that little button down there. Right, now we've got the condors on the right, the grid on the left. Okay, let's take number two, for instance. Uh, the condor is facing west, okay? So we look at the west box, which is one and Q. The head is facing to the left, so we look at the left of whatever's in that box. So it'd be a one. Okay, did you get that? So, okay, number one would be three. 2 would be 1, 3 would be R, 4, that's the open door symbol, then 5 would be 2, and 6, that's the closed door symbol. Alright, now where have we seen all of those things? Yeah, it's the elevator. That's the key to all this. Actually, I'm not even sure if you can do it on this floor. Does the elevator work to this floor? Hey, something's happening. Oh, it does. Okay. Right, so let me examine this. You may have noticed earlier, but there was there's a little locked... There you go, this little thing up here. This has been locked all the way through the game. Just got this small key. We use that. Looks like it might fit. Voila. Something falls to the ground. Oh, it's the button. Right, yep, it's designed to do that. There's a little switch behind it. Right, now I need to input that code that I just got. So it was 3-1-R, uh, the open symbol, 2, and then the closed symbol. There you go. 
it's quite a complicated puzzle really but you know once you've once you've understood the concept it's it's quite easy to go through what's going on four and a half what's this noise behind him. Let's take a look down here. I haven't looked at this before. But just then, this little thing opened up. Looks like there's a keyhole in it as well. Now, I wonder which key would go in there. Well, we got one left that hasn't been used. Let's give it a go. Not bad. Here we go. This is the hidden chamber that Mags was talking about. Or the secret room, if you'd like. I guess this is one of those rooms that you can't enter if you're fat. Because I don't think you can crawl through there if you're fat. Time to look around indeed. Where do I start? Uh, looks like they're playing, playing poker on the table. Let's have a look. Mid game. Yeah, some chips, no money or anything, but uh, fair enough. Uh, there's the desk behind me. Let's have a look at this. All right, what's this then? A ledger. Okay. All right. So we've taken that. I don't think there's anything else here. It's just uh random sheets of paper, aren't they? Right. Uh, there is an open drawer, though. Oh, what's this? Haha, <laughs> here we go. Do you recognize all three? Whoa, whoa, that's a high quality photograph. That's pretty insane. How can you read that? Thank you. 
I think Frank's going to like these. Right, let's get out of this. I think there's got to be something else in this room, though. Uh, right, what have we got? A couple of boxes and a dartboard over there. But we've got a painting, or... Oh, we've got cards up here. Uh, is that it? That's it. Okay. What about the other side of the room, then? There is another one. What's that one? So there is. Looks like it. Let's have a go. We'll see. Right, the light is now coming out of the lighthouse. Look at what it's shining on. There's a condor shadow now on the wall. And by the looks of it, it's pointing to the Ace of Diamonds. Yeah. What could it be trying to say? Well, uh, there is one thing I really want to check out now. And that would be the lighthouse. I don't think there's anything else in this room that I can take. Let's go. Might have to go back. I might be wrong. Okay, he's going now. What's up? Ah, would you look at that? Would you look at the shadow on the floor? That looked especially odd. Very strange. It's a condor again. A bit stretched, but... Where's the beak pointing to? Pointing to a particular brick. You can take that box. Now, of course, in hindsight, the opening movie to the game makes a hell of a lot more sense.
Oh. Someone's about. Oh yeah. Well, I think that was bullshit. Looks like we've got a few more questions to ask. And you did lose the gamble, so please tell all. That's just some freakish coincidence. There's a few of those. God damn, she's psychic. Yeah. 
Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you don't give it to her. I bet he'd love that. Aha. Okay. Surely when the building would have been, was uh, demolished it might have been found. Uh, no, gotta go. Why do I get the feeling that that necklace was stolen? And 
there you go. That's her story. That doesn't look good. Oh, she's all better now. Well, fuck you, bitch. Eleven PM. Okay. I don't remember this. Who's that, Rachel? And 
not quite. What? How does she know? Oh. <laughs> I actually forgot. Ah, no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing at all. All right. Yeah, good idea. Up to uh, yeah, 302. Is he doing it for me? Do we get a choice in the matter? No, nope, apparently not. much everything he'd ever want.
potatoes? Oh, come on, you could have got a better vegetable than that. Right, so this is it. This is my final goodbye moment, so... Uh, Dylan's gone, no point. Oh, what about Charles over here? Can I say goodbye to him? Well, I guess so. Right, I think that's everyone on this floor, so I might as well go down to a second. Uh, let's start with Marie. Although she might not be here. Certainly does seem that way. Right then, uh, Betty, I suppose. She's not there either. Oh. Oh. Ah. I know where she might be. Let's go check on Tony. Hmm. Or maybe not. Uh, either way, that's that. I'm not going to go back in my room. Go downstairs, see her, Sydney and Claire, and Mags, I suppose. Oh, there's Claire.
Right, well, they seem happy enough. Let's leave them to it. Let's go talk to Mags. Or not. Aha! Uh -huh. Word up, home slice! Got some rent to pay by any chance? <laughs> I knew it. I think that's everybody. Yeah. Well, back to my room one last time. Right, my first interaction with the game was opening the door to enter this place. And now it's opening it to exit.
And that's that. The end of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. Well, it's the end of the game, but it's not quite over yet. Now you might not know this, but unfortunately this is the last of the series. Um, the company that made these games is now basically bust, it no longer exists, so the series will never continue, so this is very likely the last we will see of Kyle Hyde, which I think is a bit sad. But um, yeah, what are you going to do? Either way, if you've made it from the beginning to the end, well done. Thanks for sticking with me, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.